Proud of you, Lenny. You know that? Uh-huh. You're a smart kid. You got brains. But more than that, you got talent. And I know talent when I see it. Thanks. You know, I think it's really great of you to come in here today. I think it shows a uh, real commitment, a real cutthroat entrepreneurial attitude. You showed up at my graduation and told me to get in the car. I couldn't really say no, could I? Well, that's right. It's too good an offer to turn down. What offer, Phil? I still don't know what I'm doing here. Today's your big day, Lenny. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. Today, today's the day you get to meet the big boss. Huh? You know, I admit it, it was not easy. I had to pull some strings. I had to call in a few favors. But you're gonna be one of us, Lenny. <laughs> you're gonna be part of the crew. Huh? So let's celebrate. Hmm? What's the matter with you? Hmm? Can you stop that for a second? I don't know, Phil. I mean, that's awfully nice of you. But I kind of had other plans. I think I want to go to grad school. Get my master's, maybe be a teacher or something. A teacher? <laughs> Let me show you something, Lenny. Is that... Your brother Frank. He was the best. He always ripped into the job. Eh? Chopped it up in itty bitty pieces. He was fearless, but never messy. He was quick, he was clean, and he kept his cool under pressure. He was the best damn accountant we ever had. But you, Lenny. You could be better. All you need is a little drive, a little ambition. Here, take it. I want you to have it. Think of it as a graduation gift. A graduation gift? It's your legacy, Lenny. It's your destiny. You can't just walk away from something like that. What would Frank think? I don't know. Maybe we should ask him. Hey, Frank, what do you think of all this? What's that? Oh, right. He's dead. <clears throat> uh, you know I didn't have anything to do with that, right, Lenny? You're my friend. Yeah, I, I promised I'd take care of you. Isn't that right? You know, I pulled for you. I pulled real, real hard for you. And not once did I ever hear you say thank you. Huh? And now you're just gonna walk in here and throw all that away? Well, that's some fucking gratitude you're for right. you. You're right, I'm sorry. Thank you so much for all that you have done for me, Phil. I really appreciate it. Right. Where the hell are you going? I get it. I get it. College boy, you think you're better than us. You think you're hot stuff. Well, you know what? Frank was hot stuff. He burned bridges, and look what happened to him. I didn't say anything. Shut up. Okay. Let me tell you something, hot stuff. You would be nothing without me. You're right, Phil. Please take it easy. You think I paid your tuition out of the kindness of my heart? I own you, Lenny. Just like I owned Frank. Now, if you want to have a longer shelf life than him, you better shape up. So that's what you did to Frank, huh? You used him, then you threw him away. Did you kill your best friend, Phil? Yes or no? What? Have you been listening to a goddamn thing I've been saying? Or have you been busy the whole time doodling in your fucking notebook? Look familiar? Oh, Jesus. You have to be fucking kidding me. Did you do it, yes or no? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, Frank was old-fashioned. 
You know, we didn't always see things eye to eye. I thought we could use a fresh perspective. What? But don't get me wrong. No, no, no. I did it for you. Have you seen the job market these days? Sure. <laughs> I did you a favor. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right? Let's just sit back down here and just... Frank! Don't you ever spill Frank again. That means a lot coming from the man who spilled his blood. Spilled his blood? I poisoned him. It's much more professional. You were being ridiculous. You just stay away from me. Frank's coming with me, okay? You don't think I know what you guys did down here? You think Frank never told me? Well, I think you need to calm down and give me that back. Don't fucking tell me to calm down. I'm sick of your games. Everything with you is a fucking Listen game. Listen to yourself, Lenny. You're rambling. You sound like a lunatic. You're calling me a lunatic? You're the murderer here. For the last time, I had nothing to do with that. He was my friend. Just stay away from me. Help! Help! Somebody Be help! Quiet. We have clients Get in the away building. from me! Help! Help! Shut up! Sorry, Frank.